Okay, everybody, if you saw my videos, there are several of them I had previously where I was discussing a theory about what happened here in this crash in California. And I was discussing the theory where the driver of the vehicle was in this lane that was exiting the freeway. But there's another theory going around that says that the driver of that car that uh, Model X had died was actually in this lane right here on the right. And what that theory is saying, and this also could be the case, let, let me show you. As I move forward here on the video, you'll see that there, and I talked about this extensively in the previous videos, there's an area of space that opens up between these two lanes before you get to the concrete barrier on the road. And it is a space that's empty and it has a white line on either side and it gets wider and wider. Now the theory on this one is that the vehicle is traveling in that second lane and you see here where the space opens up. Well, the theory is that this line that the cars are traveling along is very, very worn, which it is. And so Tesla Autopilot didn't recognize this line as a lane marking. It recognized this more prominently visible line as the left-hand side of that lane. And so that means that the vehicle would drive into the barrier from this direction again in that same space that I talked about in my previous videos but from a different lane and for a different reason. Look, let me show you here. See, you can see clearly here that this line is worn and you can't really tell where the lane ends but it looks like it ends right here, right? At least that's the most obvious part. So that's what the theory is and some people have tried to recreate it successfully unfortunately. So the Model Model S or Model X, it was a Model X in this case, it crashed, would, the autopilot would direct it right into the barrier, right there, thinking that the lane was wide. I mean, the thing is, it would, it would have to assume that the lane was really super wide in this situation, I think. That's, um, let's see as we get closer. Well, at this point, if it had made that mistake, I guess it, 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 the mistake's over here because the line comes back in the view, and then I guess it thinks it's right going here and it would crash right into the barrier. So what do you think of the chances of this being what happened? Let me know in the comments. What do you think of the chances of it being the other theory which was it was in this lane following this line which wasn't even a line in the pavement. I think it could have been either of them. And it really just depends on which lane that driver happened to be in. Because it's not, the, the way this is set up it's almost going to be a problem just like a lot of acceleration and deceleration lanes are a problem if, they don't, if they're not marked correctly. You run into a similar problem here, but unfortunately you end up, you end up at a concrete barrier and it is a much, much different ending. So we will just keep following this and I'll keep making videos on it as soon as we find out more information. And if you have any more information, please comment below and we will take that into consideration for future videos.